I'm here with Phil Johnson, who is our partnership secretary here at church, and uh, we're just going to have a little conversation about how things are, how uh, he's seeing things, uh, who's on the team, and some of the encouragements uh, that he's seeing in our giving. So, hello, Phil. Hello. Um, so, for the benefit of those that don't know, what is the partnership scheme all about? Right, so partnership means regular giving to St. John's, and this is so important to our church for planning and so on. Um, we love if people put, you know, five pounds in the basket on a Sunday, but we cannot run our church on that. And we've been having a partnership scheme at St. John's Egham for more than 60 years. Mm. Um, today it's all electronic, um, and hopefully people will give through the parish giving scheme. If you don't know what that is, please get in touch with me and I'll be happy to talk you through it. Um, but I refer to the partnership team. The partnership is a well-formed team of two. So it's <laughs> me and Andrew Tabith, and we do all the back office work to administer the, the, the funding, and we don't share what's giving with anybody. So everything that you do in terms of your giving, Andrew and I know about it and, and no one else does. So that's partnership team, and that's kind of what partnership is. Fantastic, and I guess that regular giving really enables us to plan and prepare well as much as we can for the coming year or the coming season. A absolutely. P being able to plan changes everything. And let me talk about Easter Center partnership as well. We've talked about the Easter Center the last few weeks, but the only reason we were able to get an outrageous loan for the Easter Center several years ago was because we had partnership and regular giving. So the banks could look at us and say, yes, they can pay off the loan, and thus we can enjoy the Easter Center today yeah. rather than waiting another 15 years. So it's, it's, it's great. So partnership giving, regular giving enables us to, to do our jobs. Why is partnership so crucial? Um, obviously, we're, we're reading the headlines at the moment. Why is partnership, though, so crucial uh, in, right now in 2022, as you see it? Well, yeah, we've all read the news. Um, the energy costs are up, food prices are up, inflation is up. And so this means that our whole parish is under pressure, but St. John's is under pressure too. We're trying to pay our bills, paying our, our heating bill. And, and so the pressure on St. John's is higher this year than, than I've, I've been a member of this parish for, for almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the toughest year I can recall. Um, however, all our parishioners are under pressure, so yeah. there, there's a tension there. Yeah. The St. John's needs money more than ever, but our, 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 our parish <laughs> is under pressure. Yeah. Um, but as you and I were talking before, the solution is God is good. Yeah. And, and, and if we pray, we, we, we know it works. But, um, but, but equally, God doesn't give the money magically from the yeah. sky. God motivates yeah. the members of St. John's to give from their bank account to yeah. ours. So yeah. that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. And that's really crucial, isn't it? That partnership that we join, not only with one another um, at the, in this place, but also we're called into partnership with God in able to um, have our finances and our, our, our money kind of reframed as something that we place back into his hands for his glory in, in the work of this. A absolutely. Most of the job that Andrew and I do is about you know doing the books you know doing the maths and getting gift aid and, and so on um, but but it, it actually is a ministry because as Andrew and I are dialoguing with the parish mm. it's lovely to hear the stories yeah. of tell God us, working tell us, tell us some tell us some of the stories the encouragements well, well really what it comes down is people who who write us and say how much pressure they're under and yet they manage to increase their giving Right. You, you, people who are, oh, I feel I'm having a tough year, I, you know, expenses are up, I can only increase my giving by 10 pounds a month. Wow. And, I, and I'm, I'm knocked over by it. Yeah. And it's such a privilege to be able to write letters to the parish and, and to interact with them in a way that, um, that, that few get to do. So I, I'm, I, I never really thought this role would be such a, 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 a God-led ministry. When, it, when I took the role on. It, it's, it's really lovely to be able to do that. And I will say to anybody, if you didn't get a letter from me 
I'm sorry, it's administrative difficulty. Don't hesitate to email the partnership um, email, which will be yeah. up on the screen, yeah. or look on the website and get in touch with Andrew and me, and we'll be happy to um, to have your money, or to <laughs> or to help you any way yeah. that we possibly can yeah. with giving to the partnership, to the Easter Center, to the Hardship Fund for industry loans or giving any way that, that, that you want. We, we, we're here to support you. Yeah. Oh, Phil, thank you so much. It's always encouraging uh, to hear the, the work that God is doing in you as you um, continue in this role and see how he is uh, partnering with each of us and motivating us to use our finances, to steward our finances well. Um, and also not just our finances, it's all about our hearts, isn't it? And actually as we're oriented more towards him, um, not just about giving more, but, but our hearts kind of actually motivated to, to, uh, to partner with him in what he wants to do in and through us here in the parish. So. Absolutely right. Thank and you so beyond, much. And beyond, not just the... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I yeah. mean, we're, we're, not, we're about God's work in Egham, but also across the UK and yeah. across the world. Yeah. So it's, it's a privilege to be part of it. That's good. Thanks, Phil. Please pray for all of the finance and partnership teams here at St. John's. Sarah Holloway, Alistair Marshall, Chris Gray, Keith Malcaron, Stacey Sobers, Neville Hosgood, Paul Kahn, Phil Johnson and Andrew Tebbeth.